Hey everyone, welcome back to Beach Garage. Let's continue on building our 440 and let's take a look at the oil pump. Alright, let's take a look inside a brand new oil pump. I've already cracked these, uh, these bolts here to make it easy just to take apart. And this is brand new out of the box. I haven't looked at it yet, so we're going to look at this together. So, let's take a quick look. Alright, so look at that. Clean these parts off one at a time so we can see just how dirty it is inside a brand new oil pump. See that big rust ring around where the, uh, the O-ring is. So first I'll clean that off. Lift it off. Well, look at that. Brand new oil pump. Just because it's new doesn't mean it's clean. I'll take that check valve out later. We'll just take a look at the major components. So that was pretty dirty. I'm assuming that there's some dirt down there in the check valve. And I'll soak this part, rinse it out really well before I put it back together. Let's take a look at the gear. Pop the gear out. It doesn't look too bad. But let's wipe it off and let's see what it looks like. Look how dirty that is. So the gear is pretty dirty. Let's take a look at the other gear in here. A little worn. A little wear ring there where you test it. So let's wipe off this gear here. Wipe off the inside. Pretty dirty there. Get a new paper towel. Wipe off inside. Pump it down in there. There you go. Pretty dirty. A lot of dirt in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these parts, let me get this O-ring out of here, and since there was, there we go, that came out. Look at all that, look at all that rust inside that O-ring groove. I'm going to take a clean part of the rag here, clean part of tissue, just go around that groove. Look at how dirty that is. So, clean that real quick. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse these parts off really well. Rinse out inside all those little crevices because I'm sure down there in the casting, if I can get in there with this top paper towel, you see how dirty it is in there. So I'm going to clean all these parts off really well, and I want to reassemble this. I'm going to powder coat this so it looks really nice on the engine. All right, figure why not? Let's take a look inside the uh, the check valve here. See what this looks like. Kind of dirty. See how dirty the oil is. And I'll soak that. But let's take a look inside this plug. Rust. Rust inside the plug. And let's drain some of this oil out. Take a look at that. There's our poppet in there. And there's, uh, you can see there's rust on it. It's rusty. So there's just from inside the uh, check valve. Let's get inside here real quick. Okay, kind of dirty. All right. Now I'm ready to clean this up and put it together and powder coat it. All right, we'll put the pump together. Now, uh, I powder coated these parts with uh, Eastwood Satin Black powder. And I did that so that it kind of matches the wrinkle, black wrinkle powder coated for the valve covers. So I wanted them to match. And the powder is pretty close. It's a satin, I had to do it twice to get the right 
the right uh, shade because, or the right sheen because it was too shiny when I did it the first time. So now we're going to assemble this and we'll start, I'm using petroleum jelly number, uh, to put this together and you notice that I don't have any more paper towels around. The paper towels are a source of uh, particulate so I don't want to have that around so I'm going to put a light, light coat of petroleum jelly on the inside of the pump, put my gear in and make sure that flows nice and good like that. Now I'll put a little on the end of the gear and a little around the gear just to make it easy to assemble. Like that. And I'm going to put a little bit on my O-ring. So I just take a little bit of petroleum jelly and lubricate the O-ring. Because the O-ring has got a seal in that groove. Same thing with the other O-ring. I put some, put some on here. Put that in that groove. Now, what I'm going to do is, since this, this pump has got to draw a huge vacuum when it starts out, those air gaps inside there are what will cause it to sort of cavitate. So I'm going to take the petroleum jelly and I'm going to take a lot of it and I'm going to, like I'm packing a bearing, like a wheel bearing, I'm just going to pack it into this, into those openings. And what that will do is it create a seal and the seal will immediately cause or help create a vacuum so that the pump can suck up the oil and start pumping oil right away. Otherwise it's going gonna, it's gonna to pump for a little bit and you'll have some wear on the parts. This petroleum jelly will dissolve right in the motor oil. So it's not a big deal. So I pack the pump just like that. I'll wipe off my, oh, my hands so I don't have that. And I'm going to clean this off a little bit just to make sure it's nice and clean. Just like that. Clean that up, and it's got a little bit on my finger, so I'm just going to do that. Now, I can take the pump and my bolts, and I'll just tighten these up and we will be ready to install it on the engine. All right, I'm using a, this is a um, Elgin high volume oil pump and I'm using ARP 12 point fasteners here. And when you, when you go to a uh, high volume oil pump and you buy fasteners, you wanna make sure that these bolts are not gonna bottom out and leave some play in the pump. So what I did quickly is just measure the depth of the hole and you hold it up against the, just take a, the dial indicator, put it in the hole, set it, and then come up to the pump here and see that I still have a good, a good quarter of an inch there before the bolt would bottom out. Now I got the gasket on there, and just like with the fuel pump, remember you're not trying to glue this stuff together, you're just trying to provide a, a seal between the two mating surfaces. So you don't have to put a ton of that on there. I have my sealing O-ring here with some petroleum jelly on there just to give it a little bit of ease to get it installed and of course that was my ratchet there so I'm just going to put this on and run down these bolts and we'll torque her up. Now here's a situation you're trying to avoid. My bolt is bottomed out but you see I still have a lot of room in there so I got to cut this this bolt, particular bolt down I'm going to cut it down a quarter of an inch just to make sure I'll measure that hole, but make sure I get it to the right length. But when you do that, make sure that you don't bottom those out because you won't get any clamp on the, on the pump itself. Now we just torque these babies down. And we're all set. Now, you can see how nice that's going to look next to the valve cover. Kind of the same color, same sheen. Looks nice together. Now I know what you're thinking, that's a lot of work for just an oil pump. But like I said, just because you take it out of the box and it's clean on the outside, doesn't mean it's clean on the inside. It only takes a few minutes to take it apart, clean the parts on the inside, lubricate, put it back together. It took me a little longer because I powder coated it, but it looks really nice and I'm sure that it's going to function well for a long time and it's going to look great. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.